Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with another movie reaction. We are here with Scream 3, got my heart rate monitor strapped in, ready to go. Seriously though, why can't people just leave Sydney alone? Hasn't she been through enough already? Uh, Dewey inexplicably survived last time. Hope he got to have some fun time with Gale Weathers once he recovered. Uh, Cotton Weary was exonerated and is seen as a hero now after saving Sydney's life last time, so that was cool. But, uh, oh boy. I don't know if I'm excited to continue, but I keep wanting to watch more despite how stressful this is. Anyway, if you want to watch the full reaction or you want to see movie reactions a week early, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, take a quick moment to leave a like and let's get started. Wait a minute, I, I know your voice. You sound a lot like that guy on TV, um, uh, Cotton Weary. Wow. I do, huh? You a big 100% uh, Cotton fan? 110%. <laughs> wow. That's very good. He so pulls. Well. Now what would your girlfriend say? What makes you think I have a girlfriend? I know you do. I'm right outside her bathroom. Oh, you've got to be Who's kidding this? me. Where's Maureen's daughter, Sydney? Who the fuck is this? Somebody who'd kill to know where Sydney Prescott is. What Damn. Is Doors open. Is this the woman from Gossip Girl? 100% cotton. Crap, 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 crap. God damn it. You know I don't like your stab games. Stab games? Crap. I'm not gonna believe what just happened to me. What, what the heck? About? What the heck? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, babe. I didn't mean to scare you that thing. What the heck? How much fun it's gonna be to rip your insides out! Now open the fucking door, Christine! What the f- How is he using his voice? God damn it. Do you have a weapon? Of any kind? There we go. <sighs> okay, I'm against, like, the gun culture in the United States, but, like, for high-value targets- Not high-value targets, for- Specifically people at risk, high risk, I would be okay with them having a gun here. She's gonna think it's- she still thinks it's him. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, oh, no, oh, she's dead, she's dead. Oh man. Overpower them. Kill him now. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh god. Oh come on. S stab three. She's in hiding though. Double, triple security. Telemarketer? Crisis counseling. That's fitting. Laura from Monterey reporting the work. Can you patch me in? Sure. Laura. Thank you. Be willing to have the world hate you because that is the only way that you'll get the story, the facts, and the fame. Thank you. Why are you in journalism for the fame? There is a young man outside who wants to see you. He says he's with the police. The police? Dewey? Were you not expecting Dewey? Detective Mark Kincaid, LAPD. Hello? Oh. Never mind. If you share this with the world, it's you. I'll be arrested. I swear at my Pulitzer Prize, which I plan to win one day, Detective. <laughs> this was left in Cotton Weary's body. Do you have any idea who the girl might be? This is Marie Prescott. Murder of controversial talk show host Cotton Weary. A cameo as himself in the film Staff 3, Return to Woodsboro. The third and final part of the famous horror series based final. on Woodsboro and final. college murders. Stab 3. What is Stab 3 based on? There's only been two movies so far. This is total fiction. There's no reason to presume that Cotton's death had anything to do with this movie, is there? He was making a movie called Stab. He was Stab. <laughs> I'm starting to see why Tori Spelling and David Schwimmer didn't want to come back. Guys. David Schwimmer. We are not in any danger. We are not in any danger, says Candy, page 15. <laughs> 
<laughs> After two films, I feel like I am in your mind. <laughs> I'm my constant headaches. You're such a complex character. Oh, and to be played by an actress with such depth and range. Uh, Jennifer, Nick said <laughs> Do we? What is he, like a well, surprise, advisor? Surprise. Consultant? Someone's helped me understand the real you. Your private self-loathing. They're butting heads again. Lost and lonely little girl inside. Oh. Lost and lonely what? You heard me. Thanks, Dewey. <laughs> you heard me. Bye-bye. <laughs> And that story that you did of me crashing my car, I especially like the way you implied that it was caused by drinking and drugs and that the tire blowout was faked. Ooh. I should check to make sure that nobody's messed with your brake line. <laughs> Slash your tires while you're at it. Who's he supposed to be? Him. Don't you see the resemblance? <laughs> He's playing you? <laughs> oh, come on, Gail. Sydney doesn't need you and your camera in her life. Oh, do you see a camera? <clears throat> <laughs> You bought me this purse, didn't you? <laughs> Look, it's, it's a habit. Wow. The only people you talk to don't even know your real name. It's as if you don't exist. It's better that way. She feels safer that way. It's like ghosts can't kill what they can't find. Did you not know that was what this is about? If somebody kills this dog, I'm gonna riot. Oh god, the music. The music! Uh, no way. How did you... Oh, that's not... Ghost face. Oh god. Oh god, what? What? What are you. What the heck? Mother needs to talk to you. Touch Sid. A Die. dream within the dream. Oh god. God, freaking nightmares. Darling one. Vanity plates. Why is no one here? <laughs> Son of a damn a man. He does good work, huh? Uh oh. Shit. Uh, I expected someone behind her when she stood back up. I'm not happy that my character is too stupid to have a gun in the house after her boyfriend's been cut into fish sticks. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Mm -hmm, great. Okay, so let's let's run the lines. <sighs> Fine. Candy. Nice name. Is that like candy cane or candy apple? That's the same candy. Come on. Who is <laughs> this? My movie. And it's called Sarah Gets Skewered Like a Fucking Pig. Oh, crap. God damn it. Crap. Hiding in the clothes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is one of them real? Is one of them real? Is one of them fucking real? Oh my god. Are those... No. Fake, fake as hell. Fake as hell. Oh, god damn it. Oh, man. You said you'd never leave Woodsboro. But now you're here. Not with me. Not with me. We tried. We're different. You used to say that was our strength. Aww. You're not just here because of that second-rate Kmart straight-to-video version of me, are you? <laughs> Off the record. Always. Too much. Always. The station gets broken into. The file room gets ransacked. And someone stole Sid's file? I already removed it. Good job. I'm with him. You. Like I'm ever going to win an award playing you. There's about a second. <laughs> Someone's killing them in the order they die in the movie. What the heck? Do we who gets killed third? Who gets killed third? S uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. Protect her. I get killed. Yeah. That's what you're upset about. She said she liked having me around. Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> make her feel safe. She says I'm her rock. Uh huh. Rock. You'd be able to appreciate the positivity and emotional centeredness I provide. Okay. Okay. Is he making all this stuff up? Hey, do drop. Can I have a word. Do drop. Can be straight. You are the Hollywood a hanger on her. Oh my god, it's Kronk. It's no good as a cop anymore. It's freaking Kronk. It's like the obituary. The Kronk's said? voice. <laughs> That's amazing. Increased police presence around Jennifer. She's the next one to get killed in the script. She has a bodyguard. And besides, the producers told one us bodyguard versions of the script. Three different characters die next. You don't know which one the killer read. 
crap. And now we're shut down and I am fucked. God, it's not the end of the world. Someone's dead. So People are dying. And it looks like I'm now the next target. What? You? Why you? Do you think this wasn't a message? Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> but she wasn't speaking with me. God, look. I did not oh, damn it. call Sarah Darling. Sarah Darling. He has a voice. Did. Voice changer. Right, this is the scene where you come with us. Do we? Haha. <laughs> my name is Laura. How can I help oh, you? Laura. I do have a crisis. I keep being afraid that they're going to call her somehow. I've killed someone, Laura. Someone Sarah Darling. You killed Sarah Darling. Oh, what? Oh, d oh, fuck! Her home line. Do you think it's over, Sydney? Do you? Is this a... Uh... She has a gun. Finally, she has a gun. Is this a taunting call or a I'm already here to attack you call? That window always looks open. You're gonna let her go outside? She stepped on any poor girl that got in her way. So you asked her out and she said no? There's nothing to do with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, man. Haha. <laughs> Jealous. She's sneaking around. You're gonna be accused of being the killer. This is a good picture of you. You look just like her. Make it sound like you're still in love with her. <laughs> oh, Jesus, motherfucking! We have one Gale Weathers here. We don't need two. Hey, do drop. Do drop. Why is the killer leaving pictures of a Marine? And why these From pictures then. At, at, at that point in her life? Look at the buildings. The second story, there and there. The what? Story. It's the same street. Make sure there's no killer in here waiting to off you like he did your little sister. That makes me. Oh my God. Angry. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Where is everybody? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Crap. Don't panic. Everybody panic. Okay, outside. What? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. The killer says he's outside because he wants to tear inside. Come on! Yeah. Stick together. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait for the fucking move. Oh my god, no, 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 you can't go by yourself. He went off by himself. Oh my god. Whoever smells the. Oh, frickin' heck. Did that work? Oh shit! Oh come on! Do you have a bulletproof vest on, whoever this is? Did he roll under the car? Yeah. The heck? What? <laughs> Who gave you a place to stay? Who are you supposed to be protecting? Jennifer. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh god! Hey! I'm glad you're alive. Angelina? Oh come on! You killed her? You said in your book that Sydney got it wrong once before. She accused Cotton Weary of murdering her mother. Maybe there is a third killer. Oh man. Sydney might know something. I told you I don't know where Sydney is. Oh yes you do. Do you want to have this conversation with a polygraph? Is that a threat, detective? When it's a threat, you'll know it. <laughs> Was that a threat? <laughs> this is the fifth time I've called. Please pick up. I want to make sure you're She's here. Okay. Aww. Aww. <laughs> the killer called her. What do you say? Oh, you know, the usual small talk. Let us know how you've been, how you wanna die. Sydney, do you have any idea how he could have gotten <laughs> your number? Do you have a number stored in your memory? Oh, he took his. Has anyone else ever used your phone? Detective Kincaid. And you. Yeah. And you. Do ah! Sorry. Tell me that's his ex-girlfriend. I'll shoot myself. It's Martha Meeks, Randy's sister. Randy's sister. Oh. Can't you tell? There's something you guys should see. Scary movies, lol. Oh, 101. <laughs> I thought it was scary movies, lol. I did not survive these killings here at Windsor College. Wow. Maybe giving up my virginity to Karen Kolchak at the video store was probably not a good idea. <laughs> Kolchak? Yes, Karen Kolchak. 
creepy. <laughs> Shut up. She's a broken lady. Oh my god. And it is a force to be reckoned with. Because true trilogies are all about going back to the beginning and discovering something that wasn't true from the get go. Godfather, oh. Jedi. Number two. Anyone including the main character can die. This means you sin. Crap. I'm Crap. sorry. It's Crap. The final chapter. Any sins you think were committed in the past are about to break out and destroy you. God damn it. Sins. Who committed sins? Good luck. Godspeed. Godspeed. And for some of you, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, idea. I'll hook up with you guys later. Oh my god, there's a mother, 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 stop it, stop it, stop, you doing? stop, stop. Go others. I go where you go. Uh, okay? If someone wants to kill me, I'll be with you. And since they really want to kill you, they won't kill me. They'll kill you. Makes uh -huh. none. Okay, fine. You can follow me around. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just like, the way she like came over the side. So dramatic. Hey, are you? No. But you look just like her. Carrie Fisher? Bianca Burnett. It's uncanny. Carrie Fisher. I was this close. So who gets it? The one who sleeps with George Lucas. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Rena Reynolds. Stage name. You should talk, Judy Jurgenstern. John Milton, the horror producer. Those were his movies. I'd be afraid to go to the bathroom alone. Did you check under every stall for feet? But then sometimes they hide the feet too, right? What you doing? What the heck? God, Sydney Prescott. Why does she have that? Oh my God, I'm Angelina Tyler and you. Is there someone in another stall? Hey. That comb is about to be your only weapon. <laughs> Deja voodoo. Ah, <laughs> uh, the doggy door for her friend got stuck. So Billy Loomis and Stu were told to attack her in the first movie. Oh shit! What the fuck? Why don't you have a bodyguard and a better weapon? God damn it! Are you kidding me? Ooh. Oh shit. Oh man, on the bed. I was hoping he'd take a real tough fall actually. What the fuck? Oh god, fucking damn it. Oh my god, oh my god. Ow! I saw her doing. Upstairs, come on, let's go. Somebody from her past. You weren't supposed to go in that house. Kincaid, hey, there's nobody up here. Of course not, not anymore. You know, nobody's gonna want to work with me. Variety called me a pariah. I don't even know what a pariah is. Why, <laughs> why couldn't someone have killed the cast from Stab One? Rena Reynolds? Uh, do you know how many actors have worked for me? He didn't say she was an actor. Good catch. Mm. Mm. You have made millions off the story of her murder. You're obsessed with her, and you're obsessed with her daughter! Right, easy, Geraldo. Jeez. Why don't you tell us the truth? <laughs> what the hell? Let it go. It's dead and buried. How would you like to see it dug up on national TV? Why don't you tell me <laughs> You like having her on your side. Nothing happened to her that she didn't invite in one way or another. Right. Right. Rena Reynolds wouldn't play by the rules. You want to get ahead in Hollywood? You gotta play the game. Oh, Go. fuck you. Kick him through this window. I think what you saw is real. That's the good news. How is that good news? Because that means that we're dealing with an ordinary flesh and blood killer. <laughs> how to handle guys like that. What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> My life. Oh, he's so gonna die. My girl would be much more aggressive. My girl would suspect everybody. My girl would march Shut up! <laughs> In sync. John Milton called me and said he had something to tell me. I'm going to meet him 
I'm at his house. I'd feel better if you were there. We're on our way, but still, sit. Thanks. That was not her, was it? Where's Sydney? She's right there. Jesus, not Sydney. Sydney. Like I'm Gail and she's Gail. Sydney <laughs> Prescott? Yeah. No, no, I never invite her here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check this place out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just one damn minute. There's a psycho killer on the loose, and you want to go traipsing around this gigantic mansion? <laughs> Have you ever actually seen this dad movie? <laughs> Every time this. Are you luring her there? I don't like basements. Yeah, she doesn't like basements. Turn around now. Turn around now. What's down there? Zombies and aliens. You know what you look like without makeup, Jennifer. Ouch. Do you, do you have caller ID on your cell phone? God. It's going through to the killer. What the heck? One of these people is the killer. Yeah. What is this thing? A voice changer. Oh, damn it. Go find Roland and Jennifer. I'm gonna get the others. Why are you splitting up? Why are you splitting up? Oh my god. <sighs> I feel like Roman is the most likely one right now, but I... I don't know. Oh, why is the door closing behind you? Well, never mind! I thought it was... I did not fuck that pig Milton to get a leading role just to die here with second-rate celebrities like you two! Wow! Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> the synchronized scream. Oh, come on. Whoa. God damn it, god damn it. Oh, come on. Ow. Why is it... Why is he messing with him and not... Oh. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Are there multiple again? God damn it. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Get, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh god, fuck, really? Oh, 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 dodge that, dodge that, dodge that! Oh, okay. Did the detective draw hearts all over her file? If you do one thing to attract attention to yourself, one thing, I'll kill them both. Ah, uh, damn it. What? She would have been happy? Everywhere. The other leg too. That's the leg with the gun. Where's where's the gun? God damn it. Throw it in the pool. <sighs> oh fuck. Think again. Oh, second gun. It's your turn shoot, to shoot, asshole. shoot. He's not dead yet. Not dead yet. Fuck. How many more bullets do you have? Oh god. Oh my god! Oh! Oh damn it. Shit! Shit! Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Through the bookcase. Secret, secret, secret tunnel. Uh, I don't feel too good about this either. Fuck! I hate immediately being proven right. God damn it. Come in here. No, don't come in there. It's time you came to terms with me and with mother. 
What? Why? What do you- I searched for a mother too. An actress named Rena Reynolds. Tried to find her- Oh shit. Half-brother? She shut me out in the cold forever. Her own son. What? But you were dead. She really got around. I mean- That was all fake? one thing. Everybody knew about that. Oh, that- okay. Never mind. It wasn't real. Oh, damn. Once the motivation, all the kid needed was a few pointers. I have a partner to sell out in case you get caught. Wow. The frame. Sydney, the survivor. Sydney, the star. And now you're jealous? Do you have a third gun, Sydney? Somehow? Get this. Get this son of a bitch. Uh, Fine. I'm not the villain, Sid. You are. How? You How are is she the... I'm gonna make you pay. That's what the police are gonna find in Milton's answering machine, right next to his lifeless Jeez. mutilated corpse. <laughs> oh god damn it! She's down. You don't. Oh god. Eyeballs. Eyeballs. Oh god. You can hear her choking. What the heck? Where is he? Oh my god. <sighs> what? There's no blood. There's no... Oh, oh she turned it around. <laughs> oh... <laughs> You love to see it. Don't stop. Do not stop. Yeah, you got both weapons. Now kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh. I thought she got hit. Oh, what the fuck? The head, the head. <laughs> you gotta have him come back to life one more time, every single time. They did a lot of setup saying this was the third of a trilogy, and then there's a fourth. And a fifth. What are you doing with that? Um, will you sign it for me again? Aww. Oh, a wedding ring. You know it'll never work, but we don't know everything yet. I mean, you, you think you do, but... <laughs> <laughs> what a proposal? We both know it'll never work? <sighs> she chooses not to lock it? Um, you feel safe enough to just let it... All right. All right. Oh, no. No, no, no. Sydney, close the door. There's still two more movies left. I mean, the next movie isn't for a while, and she definitely deserves some peace of mind and to live in peace for a while. But honestly, these writers just leave her alone. They just keep roping her back in for more and more. I know she's fictional, but she's been through too much trauma. Just stop it. Oh, no. Uh, one thing that's really inter interesting to me, though, is the voice changer. I mean, this came out like 22 years ago at this point. But to be able to sound that much like another person, to fake, fake their voice to that degree. Uh, I mean, if you guys know the most famous scene in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the Tell Me Why scene... Uh, if there's a voice changer that's that uh, sophisticated as the one in this movie, it would make voice identification basically useless in solving crimes. And I guess if you have a recording of someone you want to frame, that works too. Like a full recording of the exact words you want them to say. Uh, but it seems like this type of technology is just too advanced because the possibilities, you could frame people for things, um, just seems way too advanced. Uh, but technically, the voice changer, I think, exists on some level in previous films because it's used for the ghost uh, face voice, right? Um, but it wasn't used 
like this, I feel like. It felt like it was used as like a plot device in this movie to move the uh, story forward. My big question was, like, why does Roman use his own voice to talk to Sarah if he could fake it and use somebody else's? Why put that suspicion on himself in the first place? Uh, maybe he wasn't anticipating being overheard. I think it was Sarah's roommate or someone who identified it, uh, identified his voice. I don't know, but either way, it's sloppy for someone who has been able to mastermind so much of what's happened in this series. Uh, and oh my god, can we talk about that real quick? Does this change how any of you feel about the first film? Like, Billy and Stu were manipulated into their first kills. It wasn't their uh, original idea in the first place. Does that change how you see them? Does that change how you see the first film? But yeah, freaking Roman. I suspected him for a bit, and then I voiced that suspicion when he went down into that basement. And then within the next five minutes, it was fake revealed to us that he's dead. But it turns out he was the killer all along. And I think Roman's character just isn't that interesting, though, like, compared to the past killers. Like, before the reveal, he seemed like a total goof, and then after the reveal, he seems like a total murderous goof. Uh, the whole half-brother thing and his obsession with Sydney, what, um, with what should have been his, I was just kind of rolling my eyes at him. And I think a lot of fiction actually tries to do something similar, where it's like, oh, this guy is actually responsible for everything that happened all along. Um, I really hope Scream 4 and 5 don't do something... Um, like that actually because uh, there's something behind Roman because that would be just too too much too much um, but yeah speaking of which where do we even go from here like everyone uh, everyone having to do with the original murders is already dead so uh, all that's left are copycats right and I think with Sydney, Dewey and Gail um, they all feel safe going forward especially after Dewey supposedly died last time and then it was revealed that he survived it feels like the three of them have to make it through every movie at this point and also, I found out that David Arquette and Courtney Cox got divorced. Um, I still remember watching Friends when I was younger and seeing her name turn from Courtney Cox into Courtney Cox Arquette. And Scream 4 came out before the divorce. So if they both survive the fourth film, what will their chemistry be like in the fifth film? That feel Won't that be weird? Like playing a married couple opposite someone you've been divorced from? I mean, they're professionals, but like that feels a little weird, right? Um, I think a lot of the fun after watching the first two movies was the double killers and figuring out who could have done what at uh, when. Uh, that's not the case with this film because there is just one car uh, one killer. Um, but I also think another double killer thing would have been overkill, I guess. Um, but the actual kills this time felt a little less imaginative. There's not many that really stick out in my mind like uh, they were in the first two films. And the victims were definitely less memorable outside of Cotton Weary since we knew him from the first uh, first two films. And I feel bad for Cotton Weary, though. Like, he was a tool, but he just got his life back. Like, 100% Cotton was possibly the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, but he probably didn't deserve to die because of that, right? Probably. And then his girlfriend, who was just dating him at the time, dating the wrong person, Kelly Rutherford from Gossip Girl, also winds up getting murdered. And, yeah, I feel like the rest of the murdered cast is largely forgettable. And, um, yeah, like, their deaths felt... Largely forgettable too, and I think that was the biggest difference between this movie and the last two. Uh, I did check out IMDb afterwards and saw that this is the worst reviewed movie among the first three, so maybe it'll get better with the fourth and the fifth. Um, you know, I was saying leaving leave Sydney alone, but what if they actually do that? Like, because it, it feels like her story is actually over. Uh, what if they really like just left her alone? Uh, maybe not in the next film, but in like movie five, she's just not even there, right? Um, but yeah, I saw the poster for Scream 3, by the way, and it says, uh, welcome to the final act. Well, that was a lie. Uh, and we had Randy send a message from Beyond the Grave, which was really cool, uh, talking about the conventions for horror trilogies to help our friends along. It was sweet and touching. And, uh, Patrick Dempsey, as a cop boyfriend for Sydney, would that make her feel safer? I assume he'll be around in future films based on the way this one ended. All right, guys, uh, I think it's the weakest of the Scream movies so far, but I won't say it wasn't enjoyable. Uh, it just seemed like... The first one was a classic, the second one was good, and the third, third one is trying to like desperately trying to hold on to the magic. But hey, they're making a fifth one, so something must be working right for them, right? Uh, but I'm going to give this a 6.75, that seems about right. Uh, I think it largely falls on Roman being a pretty boring villain and just not being into his motivation at all, really. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this reaction. Uh, full reaction on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps the channel, and I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye, friends.